second you write a website name on your browser you get information from all around the world on your computer actually the computer networks is working behind the scene welcome to you to you all to the course of computer networks specifically for the gate purpose in this video i will i will discuss about okay why we are studying the computer networks what is the motivation behind studying the computer networks uh, okay what is the gate weightage of computer networks and we will i will also introduce little bit about computer network what is computer network and how it works okay let's move on okay in this video i will introduce you to the computer network we will see broad overview okay how computer network is working and we will see what is the gate weightage for this subject computer network and what is the syllabus for gate for computer network okay let's start with the uh, introduction to computer networks here is the definition of the computer network computer network refers to connected computing devices for example laptop desktop servers smartphones tablets and ever expanding array of iot devices for example camera refrigerator audio visual systems thermostats and various sensor that communicate with each other so what is a computer network is computer network is a combination of com computing devices these are the computing devices iot devices these are the iot devices if they are communicating with each other if they are communicating with each other they are making a computer network okay so this is the definition of computer network let's see how computer network works okay uh, actually i will share uh, a, a small story with you through which we will try to understand actually uh, how computer network works okay this is the story of a boy he want to send a message to his friend okay he he, he have written a letter and he want to send that letter to his friend and let's help him to send the message over the network to his friend okay okay so here here is you you want to send a message to your friend but the problem is that you actually you actually only know the name of your friend you don't know uh, her address okay where she lives you just know the name okay then you contact a person his name is informer you you contact that person that person is this you you contact this person informer and this person actually will help you to find out the address of your friend okay you will actually you will tell the name name of your friend let's suppose sonia uh, you tell the name of your friend to informer and informer will tell you okay uh, with the name of sonia uh, what is what should be the address of sonia so he tell you that okay uh, she lives in noida and uh, in sector 136 actually and uh, in building number a118 so you uh, you just simply tell the name of your friend to informer and informer tell the address her address to you you were very happy okay you have the address of your friend now but uh, you have one another problem also you know, now you know the address of your friend but uh, the problem is that your friend uh, you, your friend only knows chinese and you don't know chinese you know english only okay so you you write the letter in english and uh, you but your friends only only know chinese then there is there was a pro problem so you contact another person you write the letter in english and you give it to the translator translator actually will translate your english letter into the chinese and uh, then your problem can be solved okay so you give the letter to translator and translator will uh, translate it into chinese language that can be understand by your friend but uh, now trans actually you need to send the letter to this address particular address then you contact a person who actually knows this exact address where this address is okay at the other side of the network where this address is that person know that person name is transporter okay this transporter actually knows about the particular this building he knows that okay where this building is in noida particularly in sector 136 where this building is 
and so he knows everything about this area so you contacted with this person actually this person is having a network his his own own, own uh, network means there is, he is having some other persons at, at the other end also uh, which uh, which will contact him and he will contact them okay to trans transmit your letter to your friend okay so you simply give the letter to after translating in chinese you give the letter to this transporter and this transporter simply knows the address of this exact address where the letter should go okay so the transporter now give your letter to network operator actually network operator knows about the best route to reach there best route to reach the noida there may be many routes to reach the noida so actually uh, this network operator knows a best route uh, to reach the noida so uh, transporter give the letter to network operator so that best route can be taken to send your letter and the network operator actually what happened after that there may be a problem of that while you were transmitting your letter there could be an error in between okay maybe you have written uh, maybe you have written i love you in your letter and uh, after uh, passing through so many persons and the, that convert into i hate you so actually uh, don't worry here is the error controller he he knows he knows that okay there cannot be i hate you and uh, he changes it back to the i love you so he is correcting the error whatever error happens after passing the message from so many uh, from the so many people okay so uh, this person uh, check is your errors if the, if any error occur in your letter and correct that and passes this message over the network okay actually over the internet over the internet your packet is passed and uh, after passing the uh, after passing your packet over the internet that is uh, sent to the noida means here comes the noida okay so here also actually there is a error controller this error controller okay checks for error if any error occur while transmitting the message over the internet maybe uh, some uh, some error comes in your letter so that can be corrected by this error controller actually this person and this person they work in the similar manner okay they work in similar similar manner so after correcting the error this person pass the message to the network operator network operator this network operator actually uh, connect with this network operator okay okay he says uh, this network operator says to this person okay i have received your letter i have received your letter uh, okay then he is uh, he says okay i have passed the he passed this message to transporter okay i have i have transmitted the letter to the other, other side okay so after that network operator uh, transmit the letter to the transporter see transporter here is also a transporter both are actually same both work in the same manner both work in the same manner so this person actually is connected with this person this person is connected with this person virtually they are connected they are not physically connected they are virtually connected so they 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 talk with each other these two people talk with each other and network operator talk with network operator data uh, error controller talk with error controller okay so actually uh, he will uh, this person will help okay to reach to this particular address and this person only help in uh, network operator only help in reaching up to the noida up to the noida uh, reached by the network operator and if you want to reach to this particular building that is that is helped by the transporter okay so transporter actually know exact exact address but uh, he, before passing that he give the uh, your letter to the translator the translator okay translate uh, according to as per your as per the receiver actually okay this translator and this translator actually work in the similar manner okay here here is your friend so finally your friend uh, receive the letter and uh, now she can uh, she if if she want to reply back she will uh, do that in the same manner in the manner you have sent the message okay so this is actually how internet works this is all about the internet these are the actually these are the different layers involved in the internet these people are actually different layers actually uh, this is data link layer data link layer 
this is network layer let me write here network layer this is transport layer transport transport layer and uh, this is actually uh, presentation layer presentation layer and about uh, agar the application layer application layer so these are the different actually actual physical uh, actual layers present in the network what these layers are we will discuss later but uh, this is how really your network works okay okay let's move on okay let's talk about your syllabus so in your syllabus we will talk about the ip addresses see uh, what are ip address ip addresses are the actual address are the address in the digital form like this i will write 10.10.10.1 this is one ip address actually whenever you you want to access a website let's suppose you want to access a you access google google.com google.com is a domain name actually as a human being this is much easier for me to under to okay to keep uh, remember google.com rather than this address okay maybe google is having the same google.com actual address is this computer understand this language only okay but we understand this one so whenever we type google.com in the uh, google.com in our browser that is converted into this address so who convert this thing let me tell you see here this person informer this is known as dns domain name system this person actually you give the name for example google google.com website name to this person dns and he will give you the okay this address exact address of exact address okay this this is ip address he give you the ip address where you need to send the message okay you cannot send the message to google.com okay google.com is just for your understanding only this dns informers know okay about this google.com he will actually you will gi give him the name google.com and he will provide you an ip address this is ip address through the everybody know about this address over the internet nobody know about this one this only dns know about this this google.com and all the websites okay so ip address is provided by the dns to you okay so whenever you want to send any message or you want to access any website you need to connect first with the dns so this is what we will cover ip addressing then we will discuss about the lan technologies actually lan technologies uh, work at the physical layer this is physical layer this is physical layer there is one another layer that is physical layer at this physical layer actually your lan works okay data link layers also help in managing the lan lan is local area network after that we, uh, we will cover different terms that is hub switches bridge switches gateway and routers actually hub works at the physical layer bridges and switches work at the data link layer this work at physical layer and uh, these works at the network layer okay let me show you these three layers this is the physical layer here hub your hub works this is actually data link layer here your bridge and switch works okay this is network layer here your router works okay 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 after that we will discuss about the flow and error control techniques these are this will be discussed at the data link layer okay data link layer okay uh, and routing algorithm will be discussed at the network layer and uh, this is the tcp ip are the models these will combine different layers for example uh, for example let me show you in the diagram itself see in the diagram uh, this will actually make your uh, tcp protocol tcp tcp this from this side and from this side these uh, last actually uh, these last layers four layers transport layer network layer data link layer and the physical layer will form the tcp ip network okay 
these layers combined form is known as TCP IP network ok 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 after that uh, application layer works at the user level ok and uh, what is ISO OSI stack OSI stands for open system interconnection ok this complete this complete all the layers com in the combined form is known as OSI layer that is it that is open system interconnection open system interconnection ok this model is known as ok so this is your syllabus actually we will cover and uh, important part is that this this one this area this area and this one combined these are your 80 percent actually 80 percent exam questions comes from only for these four topics one two three and four these are the most important one from where 80 percent gate questions every year comes okay okay let's move on so this is the gate weightage for computer network from last nine years you can see that okay Mm, maximum marks uh, paper comes uh, that is was 11 marks in 2016 and in 2020 20, 7 marks uh, 6 marks question paper was there ok you can see ok average uh, you can see 8 marks paper is going on average from the computer networks in 2019 you can see ok 10 marks paper was there so from uh, you can say average 8 marks paper comes from the computer networks ok 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 that's it for this lecture thank you